Hello, this is Professor David Simon. I'm going to be the course facilitator for your LLM course in legal research and writing. First, let me give you a little bit of background about your professor for the course. That's me. I did my undergraduate studies at the University of Virginia in Charlottesville, Virginia, and I had a major in economics with a minor in sociology. I received my Juris Doctor, the law degree, at the University of Miami, located in Coral Gables, Florida. After law school, I practiced at law firms in Miami, Florida. Also, I practiced in Jacksonville, Florida, in San Diego, California. I've also practiced in the United States territory of Guam and in the Commonwealth of the Northern Mariana Islands, both of which are located in the Western Pacific. My practice experience is somewhat varied, but primarily based in litigation. I did work in state, territorial, and federal courts in various types of litigation matters involving contracts, torts, even some family law and some bankruptcy work. For approximately 15 years, I've been in legal education. I began teaching at the University of San Diego. I've also taught at California Western School of Law, which is located in San Diego, California. and. For over eight years, I've been teaching at Florida Coastal School of Law. Most of my teaching experience builds off of my litigation-based practice work. And so in addition to courses involving legal research, legal analysis, and legal writing, I've taught courses in interviewing, counseling, negotiation, editing, trial practice, and appellate advocacy. Most of my reasons for going into teaching are based upon my strong passion for the law and for practical, experiential type legal education. And some of it is based on personal experiences, having been a military spouse for many years, moving around and realizing that working as a law professor was a very good fit for my personal and professional aspirations. My wife is a physician and for years she worked in the United States Navy and she is at a private civilian hospital working in the emergency room. We have four children and two pet dogs. If you wish to get in touch with me to discuss aspects of the course, you can see my contact information. In addition, you'll have all that information through the course webpage and it will be available on the course syllabus. Generally, the best way to get a hold of me will be via email and then as needed, we can set up a follow-up meeting by phone or some other method of communication. Should you have any questions about the course, please don't hesitate to send me an email and I'll do my best to respond in a timely manner. There may be things that you could ask in general terms through the discussion boards, but anything that is of a personal or more unique nature please address via email inquiry. So why this topic and why this course? Well, as I mentioned, my practice experience involves a lot of work in litigation and trial and appellate matters and legal reasoning, legal analysis, legal research, and legal writing are the core foundations for that type of practice, but really are central to all legal practice and even many business uses of a legal degree, and certainly to other legal studies. 
So for your LLM degree that you may be seeking in our program, other future legal study endeavors, and of course, any practice work or anything you want to do which will involve a sophisticated legal work product. Really, lawyers are readers and writers. We just tend to speak in a special language, not just United States legal English, but then within that, there are certain really conventions that legal readers expect. And this course will really from both sides of the page, in other words, as a reader and as a writer, try to guide you through putting your best product forward with the reader in mind and as the reader getting the most from the written page you're working from. What's unique about this course? Well, first of all, you'll know that it's a fully asynchronous online course, but this topic of legal research and writing, even in an online format, is unique in that it's a really a practice-based, experiential learning type course where you'll have projects and you'll be doing research, you'll be doing writing of different types of documents or portions of documents. There's opportunities to submit feedback to me, uh, to submit your work to me for feedback and to learn from your reviewer's commentary and from your own self-assessment and really from trial and error. It, because, it takes lots of hours of work to gain expertise in any area and certain skills are certainly better learned through practical training. When you're writing for practice, you're also going to be developing some of the skills that would be helpful for bar examination, preparation, and performance. And we'll try to cover in this course uh, in some detail, certainly what we call objective or predictive written legal analysis. And then we'll show how when you're writing to convince a decision maker, you'll use some persuasive strategies and fine tune and adapt your writing with that advocacy purpose in mind. We'll also talk a little bit about transactional contract and legislative drafting type of writing. The basics for the course will build upon uh, other introductory material, but we'll talk about the U.S. legal system, how it differs from civil law traditions and how it borrows from common law nations. We have our history of our legal system coming from, um, from the English common law model. We'll talk about many of the aspects of professional legal writing, sources of law that you'll be able to locate through the research process, but then know what to do with when you're preparing a complex written document. We'll learn some research strategies and organizational skills. We'll talk about predictive and objective as opposed to persuasive written analysis. We'll talk about transactional practice, um, some of the ideals and really ethical and professionalism concerns that are quite visible when we're looking at an attorney's written work product. And then as noted, we'll talk a little bit about preparing for one aspect of a bar exam, which is known as a performance test. And that's where bar examiners try to assess an examinee's practical analysis and writing ability in a time sensitive examination. The format for the course, as I mentioned previously, will be asynchronous online. Everything will be through the D2L website. We will have some synchronous live review sessions, two per semester, and those will use the online rooms. You'll access them through D2L, but they'll use a software program known as Blackboard Collaborate. If you cannot attend live, those will be captured and archived and posted for your review at your convenience. If you do have any technical issues, you can contact our SYNC desk and they're available at the information you see on the screen. Again, often email may be the best initial way to reach out to them 
and that's at sync at fcsl.edu. As a quick overview, you'll see that this particular course of legal research and writing is organized into eight modules. The first deals with American jurisprudence, and that's where we'll start our discussion of the U.S. legal system. The second talks about legal research, then we'll get into more communication through legal rhetoric and analysis. We'll talk about predictive versus persuasive writing. We'll spend some time on the planning process, especially for complicated documents. You want to make sure that you're mapping out and have a good sense of direction for a particular document. Then for module five, we'll talk about professionalism in predictive writing. In module six, we'll talk about persuasion, that advocacy piece of being an attorney, arguing on behalf of a client. It can be very exciting and we'll show some of the severe and some of the subtle differences between predictive writing and persuasive writing. In module seven, we'll talk about some of the basics of transactional practice, really just to give you an idea of some contract drafting tips and some ways to review contracts, either that you've written or perhaps that another attorney has worked on or just something a client is presenting to you as part of a negotiation process. And then we'll conclude with module eight talking about the performance test that appears on the multi-state bar exam as well as on the California state bar exam. Within each module, there'll be a pattern that you'll see. Certainly some modules are longer than others, um, but they'll begin with an overview. There'll be a video overview available for you, but then also a written overview document. And when you look at that document, you'll get a sense of the subject matter that's available, um, what's going on in the module, the learning outcomes, uh, how much time is estimated to complete that module. You'll see the topics for each individual lecture. The lectures themselves will be available for you to review or to download the slides. And then also the captured or recorded lectures will be available to view in video or in audio format. The modules have a project, and that's where you'll be doing some of the practical training. Once you complete the project, you'll upload it to a Dropbox on D2L. And then at that point, you'll get access to a sample answer or some answers for the project, as well as a lecture that reviews and explains uh, the answers themselves, the process, and gives some common errors and some hopefully some helpful learning information to show what you should have gotten out of that project. And you can really get a sense of um, what, what you did well and what you can improve on. Each module will also have a discussion board and a quiz. The discussion board will be a small part of your grade, um, but I look forward to communicating with you um, and with us sort of as a, in a group dynamic through the discussion board. And then the quizzes will help you in two ways. First, there'll be a little bit of a practice for the type of multiple choice questions you can expect on the final examination. Also, the quizzes will be your method of tracking and recording your attendance for the asynchronous course. So for attendance, you have to complete 80% of the classes to get credit for the course, and you have to have that completed seven days before the final examination period. Attendance will be based on successful completion of those quizzes. Students will be able to retake the quizzes, so you can go in multiple times until you get them correct, but you'll need to make sure you complete that 80% in order to know that you've satisfied the attendance requirement for the course. If you want to check your progress, you can go into D2L under user progress, quizzes, and then you'll see the percentage that you have completed. Your final grade will be based upon those discussion board posts and primarily the final examination. So the final exam will be 90% of your course grade the discussion board posts 10%. I'm expecting students to perform uh, or prepare 10 posts um, and they have to have some substance so they have to meet a word requirement and then just some basic responsiveness and professionalism concerns in order to qualify and get credit. 
The exam will compose uh, will be composed of two main parts, multiple choice, and a performance test. My expectations as your facilitator and professor for the course are really that you perform the reading in advance. You'll see that each module differs and the overview for individual modules will give you a breakdown of the time estimations. But in general, expect at least four to six hours per module. Some of the earlier modules tend to be a bit longer uh, because of the amount of material where some of the basics just need to be covered in some depth. Uh, you'll also have projects, and again, some may take a little bit longer to complete, but that information will be provided to you in the instructions for each project. You want to make sure you're contributing to the discussion boards. And lastly, work hard and have fun. This is an important topic. I think you'll find there'll be some interesting subjects that we're going to go over, and hopefully you'll get a lot out of not just the course, but those projects uh, more specifically.